And there were supposed to be seven stages to achieve uh, the unity uh, uh, of the continent and reconstitute the culture as it had been before the Great Flood. And, and the, the seventh one never came because of uh, the invasion of, from Europe. So it was interrupted. So that by default, we are the seventh hero. We, it is our responsibility to construct the seventh era so that the unity of the continent can be completed. And, and you know, this is what I discuss with every time what, what is it called? What is the symbol of it? Uh, and, and we're going to take a stab at it today. But the word that, that keeps coming to mind is Nepantlayo. Nepantlayo. Nepantla means. The symmetrical line, the, the middle, the middle of something. No, this. Okay. I put the date twenty fourteen BC. Okay. Nepan The date was August 13, 31, 14. BC. And every, every August 13, you see the the, the rain of, of, of stars. So. If you add the 2020, you know, what he's talking BC means before, you got to add 220. Right. That's where he gets that 5,000 years. Right and so Shinashri refers to that symmetry, the symmetry between being a seed and being a plant. And it's neither. When the, when the seed bursts, it, it is no longer a seed, but at the same time, it's not yet a plant. It's that in between. Germination, not germination. Well, the, the germination. Germination is sprouting. Shinashti is the moment right before the, when it, it, it bursts, right? Before anything comes out, it's that 
and and that's a moment that the body fall is ending or, or summer uh, is ending and fall is beginning there's a there's a middle there's a line but that line is invisible and you can't and you can't measure it and yet it exists but it's in the middle it's that, that getting in the middle when, when you get in the middle then you realize that summer and fall are the same thing they, they're, they're just a way of the creation uh, manifest herself, but it's all one. Creation is is is, is, is wholeness, and, and but it but manifests itself through you know, through the symmetry or the omega, omitel. First there was tel, which is wholeness, and then when when that division came, that was omitel, so that. So the creation is, is, is a reflection of, 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 a different, of, of a different side. And, and, and it's really uh, to be able to, to embrace that, to be able to embrace for me to say, you are my other me. And at the same time, understand that, it, that what I'm seeing right now is that there is a separation. You are my enemy. When we when we under, when we understand both those realities, the, the one we, the one I perceive is you are separate from me. What is real is that you know, you're, you're my enemy. And, and, and when humanity, we need to, be, to, to get to that state of consciousness in order to make it into the next world. I'm not talking about heaven after we die, I'm talking about you know, the, the world's, this is the sixth sun, the new, the new era that's coming. Those, that, those of us or those that, that are able to grasp that, that then this isn't exactly the way that I uh, had planned to begin. Any, any questions about that I give to Ometeo is uh, Symmetria Creadora. Symmetria Creadora. There's Teo, and then there's Ometeo. In Ometeo is what we experience, what we experience right now. A separateness, an existence. Uh, in Teo, we're all, we're all, it's one kind. Yeah, like unity. Unity. But 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 you can't be you and I can't be me unless there's a symmetry in creation. That's the only one. It's the only way we can get the the gift that we call life in this in this world. Because without it, then we we can we don't experience being. We just experience being in the infinite. There's in, 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 uh, in uh, some indigenous traditions they say the human the destiny of a human or the purpose of a human being is to come and learn limitation because before we were endless beauty and we come here to experience limitation and, 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 and out of that experience what we call the, the plan of creation. Uh, Observe. Okay. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a chopper. You've seen a chopper. You see it, huh? I'm coming to the point about that. Okay, when people look at the 
children, no? I say, the other is kind of well, where I'm going, he's just carrying them, you know? So it's kind of like we we're asking the last, just this way, I want you to try out this guy. And you observe a little child, and that is how an infant, an infant, right? An infinite infant. You observe them from this first born, the first. They don't even know they're a human being. They just know they're alive. And if you look at their eyes, the eyes, they all they take in everything, every piece of life that's coming into the eyes. They don't separate that out and say that's uh, light and that's the wall and this is this is my hand. You have it. all of that light is perfect, it just goes straight in and they're just sticking in. They're not separated out into different divinations or simple or whatever. The first figure that they have in the eyes is the greatest of all. This is a Get to what he follows to talk about the ground. The closest understanding to that sensation of the creator, as close as it could be to the tail, the descent, everything is just everything, and there's no nothing that's something else. You look at that little child, that's probably the best closest you've got that we're going to have to try to understand. The next one is going to come. In that part of right down there, you're very good at it. You're very good at asking this. You're very good at this coming. Just to try to help understand it, you know, what he's talking about. That's just a story. Mm -hmm. Why not? I was just saying that the phenomenon uh, to the day, Chikwe uh, Jelly. Uh, and um, this is just something that, that we've adjusted so that the kids, so that the kindergartners, first graders, second graders, right now we have kinder two first in our school. We're expanding, but so they can. The first phase of learning the Talmud Torah is learning to the dates and the count. And then later they'll learn all this school stuff. So you guys are gonna learn the dates. Uh, we are. The um, in in uh, uh, Masuda Sura used to say, explain that the way we measure creation is in relationship to our own bodies because that's what we have uh, and so the, the, the basic mathematics that we use to measure uh, creation is just ourselves so uh, one of the one of the things that uh, you know early human beings noticed long time ago is the geometry of the human body and one of the uh, principal things about the human body is that of course we move consciously we think of moving and then we move we're not like a rock or a tree or a flower or plants the animals also like us they move but the geometry of a dog or the geometry of a spider or, or, or a snake isn't our geometry. We have different, like different geometric formations. And then in the simplest formation that they came up with was the circle and the square. Uh, the human body like this is a square. This is a top and then you know, you're lying down and then my feet, and if there, it's a square. All human bodies in this way are square. Now, if I want to move, I do this, and at this point, my body is a circle. You know, this is the, my feet and, and, and the fingers are the edge of the circle. Square, circle, square, circle. Uh, and we see that in our head. You know, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. Uh, and what they named that, uh, that is looking a walk. In my eyes, Kunapu. And Kunapu doesn't mean circle and square. It means the motion that can be described 
is a relationship between a circle and a square. Uh, the circle being, being the, the male, the circle being the, the female. Lo que nawoke is lo que está alrededor, what surrounds us and holds us close. That's in now that's what lo que nawoke means. That which surrounds us and holds us together or close. So the square is a female, both in the, and the male is a one point around. Uh, and even in the in the development of the child, uh, and this is scientific biological studies that they've done, as a child is developing, there's a force that wants the child to you know, start growing. But 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 if the child just starts growing, you know, we're allowed to come up with a, a big head and small feet or you know one hand smaller than the other. And that's what the that's what the male force inside there wants to do. It's you know, vamos, you know, hay que vas. That's kind of what, what men, women have that mentality. But there's another force inside the womb that's holding that back. You know, so there's that push and then the, you know, the force came like that. So that we come out proportionally, you know, our bodies grow proportionally. So it's, it's proportional growth that we undergo in the womb because there's these two forces at work. And they're represented by the circle and the square or bloque na walk, bloque na walk, bloque na walk, bloque na walk. Or I, I get the kids to do the, the dance and, and uh, so I said, you know, bloque na walk, and they dance. And that's, that's, that's the concept of bloque na walk. Bloque now walking. See, that's looking now walking. Just like this, it would be now we only, or what they call the medicine period. But when it's in motion, it's looking now walking. Circle and spur, circle and spur. And so, uh, and so that's a, that's the basic design uh, that, that our ancestors used, both Maya and Nahuatlaca. Una ku looking now walking. Uh, but here was a question. In the human body, this square, the perimeter of this square, if you add all the sides of this square, they're going to equal the circumference of this circle. They're equal. But here, that circumference is not going to be equal to that square. So then, how do we square a circle? And that's a universal theme uh, in, in many, many ancient cultures. I always lose my notes on your list. Uh, there's a pretty academic book called uh, The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. Some of you may have heard of Joseph Campbell. I know some of you teachers were watching from what Joseph Campbell said. Anyway, he, he quotes, he says, the dome of heaven rests on the corners of the earth. Hence the traditional importance of the mathematical problem of the quadrature of the circle. It contains the secret of transformation of heavenly into earthly form. This is a world famous, uh, uh, I guess it was a uh, mythologist, mythographer, mythologist, yes. He specialized in myths from all over the world. And he wrote this book. And, and this is, uh, this is the, the conundrums that uh, all ancient cultures face. We are a unity of circle and square, but in our bodies, the, the square and the circle are one, but here they're not. So if you notice in the, what's called the medicine wheel, which we call Mawioli, There's there's uh, there's two lines. Uh, what should I put on? No, on the right? No, it's over there. It's over there. Right. Here. Okay. okay. North, south, uh, east, west. Okay. In the in, in the now we only know the medicine wheel. Uh, 
This road, the path from the east-west path, is called the Black Road. The Black Road. The north-south path is called the Red Road. Many of you are already familiar with that, that phrase. Uh, the, the Black Road is a road of perception. The way we what we see with our, out there. The red, the, the, that's a black road. The red road is the way things really are. When you're, when you're looking at me, you're looking at my a perception of me, not the entire me. Look, see all of this part of me you're not you're not seeing. So looking at me, that's would be the black road. Once you look at all of me, that's the very well. Perception and reality. And that's our nature. That's part of our, that's the way we experience limitation. That we're limited by our perception. And in order to find the wholeness of something, we have to make an effort. We have to, you know, go around the circle. Otherwise, we, we miss out. Now, the, there, one way to, to, to get wholeness, but see the whole, the whole picture, the whole shebang, is by going around, right? Going around and looking at everything. The other way, and there's always partnerships and there's always the relationships between, there's always two things that always come together, just like Ometeo, male and female. Ometeo together makes tail. So we can go around or it's right here in the center. You're in the center, then reality and perception come together, they cross. So those early guys, I, I don't know if the, the Navaklakas 5,000 years ago did this or if it had already been done in the previous worlds that, that existed. We can't say, but for sure they, they had to have at least review this or construct it again. They said, all right, we have to, we have to get here. We have to get here. And if this is going to be our founding symbol, then we have to understand how this square is going to be equal to that circle. Mathematical problem. All of you are familiar with this. You guys use it a lot. It's, it's right there. In South America, they call it Chacana. Chacana. They call it Chacana. And what it, what it represents, the Chacana, is actually an extension. It's actually an extension of what we have to do to perceive the whole without going to the center. The Chakana begins, this actually begins like this, okay? And, and then, and then it, it continues to extend, but it has eight points. And those eight points represent uh, the way we strive to complete knowledge, to, to understand, to know something. And, and again, we go back to the human body. We look ahead, that's one. We look to the left, two. We look to the right, that's three. We turn around. And then four, five, six. Seven, eight. Now that completes the, uh, my perception. So, that's, so eight represents that effort of, of, of completing the perception. Eight represents uh, the, the Venus. This is Venus. And it represents Venus because 
There's another question. Uh, it's, it's also part of a very important part of the calendar. We perceive, we perceive Venus as two stars, evening star and morning star. But once we go around and those we made the human beings made all those observations, they realize that the evening star and the morning star are just one planet. You see that with the cross? Evening star and morning star. And then the Chakana is an expansion of that cross. So, this expansion of the Chakana, okay, I placed on uh, the floating walls of Unaku, circle and square. Now, uh, there's something, there's a pattern that we can see when we go circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. Circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. Uh, what we see is this. <laughs> okay. It, it, uh, there's another circle. There's another square that's formed. And of course, uh, we can also be like this. So it's kind of like a small clock in a walk is formed. At each corner, at each corner, a small clock in a walk is formed. So, Using that little corner, that little reproduction of the token of what uh, reproducing itself becomes will become the key to solve the mathematical problem of how to square a circle. All right? So we take these two squares, we put them together. And see how they're well, they can they can be here or here or here on top of this square and then this square tells us how far to draw this line and down and down and like that and then they become two again see the progression all using something that the token of walk itself created. So I don't have to like invent the chakana. It's revealed to me right here, right here. And then I take it here. I put the two squares together. Okay, so I draw that. Then I take this one and I put it here. Okay, and then I know how far to go. See, I put, I put it here and then I know how far to go. You see? And then I put it over here, and I know how far to go. And then I put it over here, and I know how far to go. See, the little loquito is showing me step by step where to draw my line. And what I draw is what we call the chacana. All right. So now that we draw the chacana, the problem with figuring out how to make a square that's equal to the circle is that we don't know, you know what size of a square to draw. You know, which is, you know, if I draw it here, it might be too big. Or if I draw it here, it might be too small. See, I don't know where to draw the circle on top of this, or to, or to draw the square on top of the circle so that this will be equal to that. But when I use a chakana, when I draw the chakana, now
Now it becomes very simple because the two loquitos, two little squares, I know where the middle is, right there. So if I go from the center to here, to where they meet on top, and I make a circle, see how I made this little circle here? Okay. What I find is that this circle that I made using the chacana is equal to the perimeter of this square right there. Now I've solved the problem. I've squared the circle. And, and how did I do that? Well, the, the, the figure itself showed me how. I just observed, you know, patterns. The pattern that little little pixels are formed here. And with those, I formed this linear shape. And I want a linear shape because that I can measure. I can, I can find out what the half of, I can't find what the half of this circle is. If I say, this is half, you know, I can't really say. Of course, unless I fold it, right? But when I have lines, that I can divide in half, the point five, symmetry. And when I do, and I use it to form another circle, then this circle that I form, the circumference of this circle right here, is going to be equal to the perimeter of the square that it's on top of. So there you go. Now, this circle and this square is, my, is the way I perceive things. But this circle and this square is the way things really are in nature. And in nature, nature follows this pattern. Nature grows proportionally. And it, it grows just our bodies, in our bodies, the square, and the circle are equal because that's the way Mother Nature made us. Proportional. Uh, flowers and, and, even the, and even the animals, they, they also grow proportionally and they grow on a very similar pattern. Where circles, where, where the circle is you know, equal to the square. So, any, any questions on, on that part? Okay. Yes, sir. You could break down the roof and then the cloud cloud. Okay. Well, the pantla uh, is, is, is middle. Is the middle. The pantla is the middle. But it isn't the middle point. The middle. Uh, and, and it, and it's, a, it's a very special middle because it's like a center, but it but it's a middle, like I said, it's like the, the middle between summer and fall, or winter and spring, or night and day. Where does where does day in and night begin? There's there's a there's a line there, right? You know, we can we can observe it all we want and we'll miss it. We'll miss it. And yet it exists. We know it exists because there's day and there's night. There's gotta be a line there. But but when you go into the middle, you go into like a, it's like another dimension. Just just to try to try to understand that. Would we say how do we refer to the process and the phrase in the blood Stop exhaling and getting in. Huh? No, no. Your breath. Can, can you can you find the middle point between exhale and inhale? 
But but it's hard to, to, to find it like okay, I'm in Haiti, now I'm in Haiti. That line is it's there, but it's hard to it's hard to perceive, it's hard to grasp. But it's there in in, in, in its 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 life itself. Without that it's life will be good. It's not separated and it's kind of good. Right. One breath, but there's you know, inhalation and exhalation. The breath is tail. The inhalation and exhalation is home tail. Ah, now, the other thing that, uh, that I, I want to say is that okay, this is the last This is the last circle that's formed. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm, not, I'm gonna put this like this. Um, did, did they use that also for like a, your measurements, like say what they did, like the or something? Yeah. When you look at it from the top, it looks like you need to go down. Yeah, in, in, in El Paso, we've had the privilege of building a pyramid. It took us 13 years because we learned how, we learned how to apply this stuff. And it was so. Now, look at look at look at look at the the, the look at a walk that's formed here at the end of a sequence of 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. And 13, where did we get 13 from? Again, from our bodies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13. See, we, we project our bodies. And then we notice that just as we have 13 main joints, which allows us to move, in a year there's 13 moon cycles. And I'll say, oh, there, there's got, you know, so our body is related to, to that because 13 moon cycles and, and 13 joints in our body. And then and then some smart guy like Oscar said, oh yeah, but is that the only connection you can get? And the other said, no, Oscar, look at your hands. Look at your hands, please. Look at the joints in your hands. There's 14 here, 14 here, 28. Half moon, full moon. And you, you have the two moon counts. You have the 28 days that it takes for the moon to orbit the Earth. And then together, it's 29, which is how long how many, how long many days it takes for the moon to become full again? 28 orbit and 29 for the moon, for the full moon. And it's right here. It's in, it's in, it's in my hands, okay? Oh, wow. See, Oscar, there's more than one relationship to how our bodies to the moon. And so, and so, you know, we always go back to, to ourselves because we are a projection of creation. made here in this succession of 13. This clock in a walk in, voila. You put it over here and you know what, what that means? It means that this circle is, in, is, in, is equal to the circumference of this circle is equal to the perimeter of this square. <coughs> See, just bring it down. And there again, you solve the problem. The quadrature of the circle. Uh, and, then, and then you'll see some more neat stuff in, when we go into the, uh, the calendar. Back right here. So now this becomes a basis for the instrument that we're going to use to measure the cycles. Stop. 
Like right here, they would have been willing to share their teachers to what they wanted to learn, you know, knowing that, right? Let's say you can pretty much figure that's how it was 500 years ago, not 5,000 years ago, only, by, only 500 years ago. Knowing that, why? Why do these people feel the need to put us down and try to? Masters in education and all that. Why did, why did they come with that psychology? Yeah, I don't want to take us off the conversation, but it's a reflection that you have to think about it too. When you, when you start to capture all of this, you wonder why. You know? why, why did they have that attitude or that uh, or that pathological thinking to want to put this up? Basically, for me, we, we, we knew that. The red road and the black road had to intersect. That both were necessary. They decided that they could do with just that. They decided that perception uh, can be reality. And, and what they perceived is they said, okay, we have people living on the land. You, you know, the first thing they told us is little piece like your grandfather's lived there, your great grandfather, you know, now your sons are living out there. You don't know what to put that. That's true. This is the other right here. Then you might have to write it and it's too young. And then most people say, no, no, brother. He's taking care of this land. This land is. It's part of a, all the land all around, but there was a very small minority that said, it's all this in it. Shida, all this is mine and I can do whatever I want with it. You know, I can pass it on to my children and their, their grandchildren. I like, I, like, I like your idea. You know, I like your idea. And, and everybody else said, you guys are crazy. That is going to take you to a crazy world. Destruction, don't do it. And, and then you, you're the ones that are crazy. You're following some wishy washy, whatever. And the majority of the people in the world stay this way. They understood that Earth was mother, that you cannot divide the Earth any more than you can chop off your arm and start selling it. You can start chopping off parts of your body pretty soon you don't have any body. Except that when you when you create private property, it happens so slow. And by the time we are, you know what's going to do, which is why Puck and I and some other people are out there. And and so that's why. And it's important. That's why they created this. They, they, they constructed this so that it wasn't just an idea. It wasn't just a philosophy. It isn't just poetry. You know, oh, Mother Earth. No, it's reality. It's reality based in 
times the minimum x. As well, spirituality as well as emotion is reality. Scientific basis. Now, I told you before that before we hear, we we are in. Still, can I pick on? I'll pick up on Astra. Astra, how old are you? Ah, how old are you? Forty. Forty. Okay. So forty. So, and how many of you are there? How many Astra? One. There's one. Okay, Astra. So you're the number one. You're the quantity of one. Oscar, what were you 50 years ago? Were you around? No. So what quantity were you? You're now one. What quantity were you back in 50 years ago? You were zero. But the fact is that zero became one. How does that happen? So even, even before we were one, we were, where were we? We were not, we were not in non-existence where we were, we were in infinity. That infinity is called intention. Intention. When we come together in the ceremony, we come because we have an intention. Indians don't come together to pray, to ask God up above to do something for us. We come together to express our intention, and to express our gratitude for what we already have. And we make a commitment to do the work that's necessary to help that intention come to be. And I'm sorry if I'm offending some people, but our ancestors did not get on their knees and say, please God, just for today, let me have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Or please God, I need a new car. No, we, we never did that because we know that we come complete. Creation is everything. We are creation. We are, we have everything. There's no need to negotiate. What there's a need to do is there's a need to work out our limitations, to understand and work. The way we work with this, first of all, is our intention. And our intention comes from the heart. So we come together in ceremony and we put our intentions not arbitrarily anywhere. We, we construct a model of the way of, of, the, of the universe. And the model of the universe, the basic model we were given originally was this the circle and the four points, or what they call the medicine field. This is the original model for ceremony. Everything follows this. And then, and then we we uh, we added consciously something that's already there. It's already there. The intent is already there, but you don't see it right now. It's, it was already there. You could see that these two points can connect. But then we we add this. So the intention, the intention of creation, creation sends us like this with the intention that we do this. That we move around and come together. Community, community both ourselves, community with nature. So, Infinity, so right now this is the look at a walk is really one. We're all looking at walkers, you and I. Looking a walk. Looking a walk. Looking a walk. Looking a walk. We already are looking look a walk. So what were we before? Infinity. Well, where is infinity there? Okay. That's that's good that you said that. Very good, because that's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, it's in the center, but, you know, so. see how this progression starts? We'll never finish it. 
will never finish. That progression will go on forever. So that's 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 our infinity. But how but what we can understand like that is how from the center we can expand into that. That model of the center being an infinite will not show us mathematically how we become one. So this we know, but now how do we understand? And the way we understand is the system using the model of the medicine wheels. I better hurry up because we still got the calendar going. <laughs> uh, so it's four, right? The, the, the medicine wheel of the circle is divided into four. So here's a circle. So here's four. Here's one fourth. Okay. Now the next circle we also divide into four. But we, we talked about the center, so let's start in the middle, okay? So, that little circle is divided into four. The next bigger 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 circle is divided into four. And the next bigger circle, and of course we, we, we understood that at 13, there's no use in going beyond 13, because we could go on, you know, all the way. But we're, you know, at 13 because we know that's a good number to use. So now we've divided each circle according to the original instructions by four, by, by one fourth, right? So now, now we can express where we were before we were one, when we were zero. This one, this one. This one, the next one, the next one, the next one, and the next one. So, what do we have? A spiral. Does the spiral never end? It goes forever outward and forever inward. Okay? Now, when this Atecocoli still has a point, it's this. When we cut it, it becomes this. Because what made infinity into form was when we Goyo blew the conch and cracked the silence and so creation began.
we have an agreement that they use the same word that we do. We use the word for the sub as vocal for go. Go. Now, can you write it down? Go, oh, you can write it with a C or with a K. Go. Go. Uh, now, go. See, this is silent. Or infinity, and this is form. The panta and the sandrail, the middle is co. The spiral, silence. The circle, form. Co. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I didn't tell. Anyway, así lo vamos a dejar porque. Any any questions? Makes a lot of sense. Ask or mess me up. <laughs> so uh, when we're talking about sound, this is exactly how sound moves. Sound moves out and radiating waves like that too, right? Energy sounds like that. So anytime you take a step, that sound comes out like ripples in the line. So it's mimicking even the shape of that energy when it becomes sound. Oh, I was watching this thing where I seen like doing a lot of digits and types of things. Hey, why you play about that? Yeah. Well, you know, like that.
Divides this circle. See this little pizza? The kids call it the pizza. Oh, it's a pizza. This little toquito naturally divides the circle into 18 pizzas. And then sobra un pedacito. A little slice of pizza is left. Now, the 18, if we give the back, again, we go back to our bodies. 20 digits in our hands and fingers. So we multiply the 18 by 20, that's 360. The little bloquito, that's a five days. One, see this little circle here? As this circle gives one turn, imagine that this circle is it's also moving. So as this circle moves like this one time, this circle moves and winds up here. So now you have 365 and then one fourth turn of this, because this divided into four, gives you the fraction, the date fraction. So it's 18 months, or 18 segments of 20 days plus a fragment of five days plus this represents one day, a quarter day. And so now the clock in a walk is giving us the exact measure for the over the year. Okay. And then we, of course, we check it out by observation, we could, you know, and yeah, and then we confirm it. And of course, it's not perfect. There's adjustments every hundred and some years. But pretty much, see, this is a natural way of determining the orbit of the Earth. It's an arbitrary and the Gregorian pattern. So that's why we had a very set practice. On this. Right. Now we get to the Tonan Machot. Okay, the Tonan Machot. Yes. Uh, the 18, what was the duration of the 18? Okay. I want you to hear. See, we worked with this before, that this is a key. This little bloquito. Okay. You want some from over here? Huh? Yeah. 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 See? See how it forms in each state? So here, we just this is a, this would be the the the, the non a product of the circle and the square gives us the non So this one is this one is like that. One. Right, they're all equal, and they're eighteen up to here, up to there, and then right here is the, the slither. So eighteen times twenty is three hundred and sixty. 
This one is 365, and one fourth of this is a quarter day. And there you got your measure. So, another one that they made, they're off by how much? Four days? They're off by It's way easier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, like the Gordon Color, the Gordon Color doesn't have this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I guess it's probably the most Okay, now, so if we were to have a clock in a walk in, then the, the Nanma shot would be. Uh, would be the third circle. It would be the third circle. The way we're, the way we're used to uh, looking at it is this one. Like that. Okay? Like that. Now, let's put it on my mask. Okay. Uh, All right. Now, what do we see here is, is a guy we call the Tekuti, which is Earth Chief. The could be is also chief is a process word that they come up with, but it also means like senor or how would you say what's the best description of the could be? It was in some rank, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a position, it's a it's a position of honor. Responsibility. Responsibility. So la the could be has a responsibility as an earth being because it's lying because he's still an earth creature. He is lying on the ground. And what is he doing? He's observing everything that's in the sky, night and day. But what we never see in the phenomenon of is that observing everything that goes on the earth is the see what? It's why? And, and they come from the original people was Osh Oshomoko and Sipaktona. And then they became Tlatekuti and Tlatsiwa. Especially the Tlatsiwa from Siwa. Siwa is Mujer. Siwa is Mujer. Uh, now, they, they're equal. But she's a happy but so, well, just should, it could be understood that I'm asking it out loud. Probably you say that the word, right? Si, pero, pero a, a él, a él, le ponen el señor. Okay. Uh, pero señor, en el sentido de, no, con responsabilidad de culto. No, no, más es señor, no, no, más es, 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 Responsibility because implying in being a woman automatically gives you that right. So, a tecutli is equal to a woman. A woman doesn't need a rank, a man does. Because, again, it is a female that, that, that makes sure that we grow in proportion. Or as, yeah. formation, formation, no formation. This guy is about order. This lady is about harmony. Very different. Who was the first one, Carlos? What? The senor. Dr. Kutni? Harmony, you know, you know, so. This guy wants order. 
order. This lady is about karma. Eso corresponde porque la Gita Chico Shir, que nos han dado los prácticos del calendario maya, y va a usar con esa idea de que el calendario de esta que pone el orden, ¿no? So that fits very much with the that we took here. Yeah. Order governed by karma. Okay. Now, this is a lot of change, right? Um, in the in in the when I went to Mexico first time in '83, and you know, I both as I said, but I said, can everybody questions? You know, someone that aquí está los que saben, right? And one of the things that, that I was told was that a line to these arrows, the small arrows, not this, not this big arrow, but to the small arrows right here, that that were the tropics, and a line through the middle was the equator. Okay. And, and so uh, when I started studying this, naturally I, I went and I, and I measured it, I measured the the, uh, uh, the I, I put the line here, and then I measured the angles uh, to the nose, and it didn't give me the correct angles for the topics. I said, "Well, well, well don't that line to me? What the hell? Mm -hmm. they, were, they, were the line me. they must have told me for a reason." And that's when I talked to another maestro, and he says, "No." Es que el, el, el calendario es producto de tu natu o de tu toque en la boca. So tienes que poner el toque en la boca primero antes de que trabaje esta proporción. So yeah, I put, I put the, the calendar in a square and then in a circle and then voila. Now they're correct. Now this angle is the correct angle between the tropics. So if you lay the calendar like this within the toque en la boca, and, and you place the staff here at sunrise, it's gonna it's gonna give you the shadow right of the nose. This for us this is the topic, so this would be summer. And then in fall, which is coming up, you place the staff here, and it's and the sunrise is gonna go through the nose, that would be spring. And here Winter goes crazy. You know, I have brought this volcano loose over that. I see. You know, this is summer, uh, fall, winter, spring, summer. Uh, so now, why, why align the, the calendar this way? Because this would be north and south, east and west. And, and it's very simple. ¿Cómo está la de Cú? La de Cú está acostada. Acostada. So, what, all of us estamos acostados. So, what do we do when the, you know, before the sun comes up? Or what we're supposed to do before the sun comes up? We're supposed to rise and welcome the sun. If we're in this position and we rise, where is the sunrise going to be? But in our body. The left hand. Yeah. And the sun moves and we move with the sun. Okay, and, and when the sun, the sun is here at noon, and then here it, it, it sets. When it sets, where is our hand facing? South, okay. With Zilopochne means hummingbird, that means to the left, and it also means hummingbird, that means to the south. And that's why that's why that, that alignment exists. It's not arbitrary. Now, you see these these here? These four circles, 
there to measure the the uh, the solstices like that. Now, the reason why there are three concentric circles is because this angle doesn't remain the same. It changes. Yes. And this one always remains the same. But this angle doesn't. Sometimes it's bigger and smaller. It's on a cycle. It's on the 26,000 year cycle of expansion and contraction. So those guys were thinking long term. Uh, now, the other thing about it is, is that this circle is supposed to align with this circle. Because another thing that, that we've got to realize is that the calendars are wheels and they move around. This wheel moves around, this wheel moves around, this wheel moves around, this wheel moves around. Wheel moves around. And they move according to track the cycles of the earth. Now look at your papers in terms of where you find the drawing of the, of the season. Now, see how, how uh, I, I turned the, the head? Okay. If you look at the good thing, if you look at the good thing, you see that, that, that the space is turned. And the reason the space is turned is because these two circles here, they align with these two circles here. So he's, as he's moving around, he stops right for this into the line. I got, I got another one I want to figure out. So, so they get the names from our cubes, which is pretty much the same as the normal term. So, not cubes? Uh, yeah. So, how did they change, like, getting, uh, doing the, um, I mean, you're saying to yourself, how do you say each one of these? Okay. You know, you know, you know, so a lot of people say the name is from a few, right? No. No, no, so it's, they're wrong, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, not you, so not you is here. These are the these are the arrows of Tonati. So those are the three animals that are in there. There's actually four. We never mentioned that one because it's considered impolite. That's a jaguar. And we don't we don't do the jaguar because that means death. But I'll be cycling this and talk to you like this. So in addition, you know, you can slow, you know, this. Uh, but you never show this because this is like a wish of death. So that is that word. 
kind of like that. Oh, next thing is when you tell somebody like. I know. I don't know about that. We can talk to the part about that. All right. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, like I mean, the touch. No, no, I, I, my cousin is always say like the touch, like how they like that, like the touch. Yeah, yeah. Let's call the touch. What comes? 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 In the calendar, and right here, the calendar is a representation of the Earth. It's like a model, right? This, from here to here, are the tropics, and from here to here is the equator, right? But what we have to consider is that the Tonad Machot is not a perfect circle. It's squished in a bit, and it's squished in. Same way that the Earth which in the Earth is not a perfect circle, it's not a perfect sphere. It's also so our ancestors made this to mirror the Earth, squish a little bit, just a little bit, it's a little bit squish. So, so that's why that's the and that's the imperfection in the block and the walking. If it didn't have that little, when we added this, if it didn't have that little squish. Then it means all the purpose. So that's one way our ancestors respect creation. We never make things perfect. There's always a little part that we, you know, we kind of like quit to show respect for. You know, we can't rely on the token of what it is it is completely because this is still perception. Circle and squares do not exist in nature. Spheres do not exist in nature. The planets, the sun, they're not perfect spheres. They're, they're kind of a little bit squished. All right? So, so, so the, that's one thing that you consider. The other thing to consider is this. These points are made to measure the, the solstices and the equinoxes at sunrise. One problem with that, folks. It's made to measure those when the when the horizon is flat. Once you put mountains in there, no longer like it. Because the sun doesn't go up like this. The sun goes up at an angle. So by the time it clears the mountain, it is no longer aligned to the points. So this this work fine when you have a flat landscape. So now what are you going to do? Oh my god. Paris, <laughs> Paris. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. Always complementary opposite. So it's very simple. When the sun rises here, it's going to go up, it's going to set here. When it rises here, it's going to go up, it's going to set here. I mean, a key. But what we notice is that in winter, this is shorter. This is a little, this is in half. You know, and then this is a little bit longer because it's a little higher. So it varies, right? But what doesn't vary is that this arc and this arc and this R have the same um, the same middle. Only the thing is that when you put the, the, the palito here, this is going to be the middle of all three cycles, of all three of all the other solstices and equinox. This is called true south. So if the sun rises over there for summer and sets over here, the arc that it makes is going to have this middle. If the sun rises for the equinoxes and sets over here, it's going to have the same middle. 
If it rises for winter, it says over here, it's going to have the same middle. Same middle, but it's going to shine. The shadow is going to have a different size. Right? So the object here, when you put the stack here, is when, when it's, it's the same middle, okay, you're going to want the the shadow, okay, the shadow in the equinoxes to come all the way up to here. And meet the equinoxes that are here. And you're gonna want the shadow when it's longer, when it's winter, to come up here someplace, and when it's summer, to come up below. Now, I have done this part 10 years ago. Shoshi said, you need to do this, Carlos. That way you'll be able to your measurement, because I, like, we're talking about this. He says, yes, but you need to do this in order for it to be accurate. And I said, yeah, yeah I'll get around to Shoshi about 10 years ago. So you can know that I'm not the sharpest you know, tool in the, the shed. <laughs> Only today when I was driving over here, I said, oh my god, I forgot about sound. But anyway, so you put the step here, and now it's measured in the middle. You want the shadow to pass here, or the, when it's the equinox, this will be long enough so that the shadow is here. Go through the middle. Now, I don't know how this how this will work. If, if it's supposed to like go all the way here in winter and then come down and be here in, for the equinoxes, I don't know. That's that's still something that I'm probably that we need to look at and start doing, and it's really easy. Uh, it's really easy. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. you get this, and on the, on the 22nd, you align it this way. Right. And then you can then this and this, and then you go to the south, and at noon, right when the sun is in the middle of the, of the sky, you know, when it's in the middle of this arch, you put the staff and, and then and then see where you want your shadow. And the shadow, you want your shadow to come up right here. So you'll know what, how long, how, how big of a stack you want. And then depending on the size of your phenomenon chart, how long you want. And in this stack, these points, you don't, we don't have to put markers here. Somebody in the community can be assigned on the 22nd to come and put the stack here at some point. Or come. Here, and you'll know. Okay. And that's 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 uh, the last thing I have. Oh, by the way, uh, you'll notice that there's a star there, the, the phenomenon called the entire star. Uh, when a banana chord is like this, in the block and a walk in, that's what they call Euclidean geometry. That's a geometry we all learned in school. It's the first page, very first page. Very first page. The last part is, 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 is I'm excited about, believe it or not. This is, this is the second to the last part. Okay. So this is Euclidean geometry. This is the geometry we learned in school. This is fractal or natural geometry. That's the geometry I was talking about. And this is called a fractal nest. And you can see that the non-mature is inside a fractal nest. The first fractal nest, the first fractal, see how it, it, the star reproduces itself. And, and the arrow of the non-mature is the one that starts it off. And then, and then it forms a pentagon. You extend the pentagon and then you make another another star. 
So the conundrum is inside a fractal nest is that this instrument was also made fractally, not just using plane geometry, but it was also made using fractal geometry. This is this is like to show that it's that it's fractal geometry, and, and we could go into their cycles. There's a cycle. Of, her cycle is a cycle of Venus in here, and there's a cycle of human being, and then there's a cycle of the, the one the twenty six thousand year cycle. But you know, time is running out. We can go into that later. But just to say that plane geometry, natural or fractal geometry. This kind of geometry wasn't discovered by Western society until the, 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 the middle 20th century, whereas our ancestors knew it 5,000 years ago. Now, finally, the black asking, what's the symbol of the sixth family? The big, the big change has come. And if you notice, with an animal choice, you have these two guys, Petzalcoa and Tezcatlipoca. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna step on some toes of some other people who may be watching this video, or maybe some of you, all right? Now, first I wanna point out that right in the middle here, that's Nefan, right? That's the middle, middle one. And when they meet Quetzalcoatl and Quetzalcoatl and Tezcatlipoca, they meet in the middle. And when they meet in the middle, when they meet at Nepantla, and they practice Nepantlayo, what they say to each other is, Tezcatlipoca says to Quetzalcoatl, you are my other me. And Quetzalcoatl says to Tezcatlipoca at the same time, you are my other me. In Latke, a Latke, or Newan, in Newan. And that's when they realize that they're not two, but one. And where is the one represented in the Tanan Machot? Right here. So now we remove this Katipoka and Quetzalcoatl, and we replace them with the one, the Tekutli, which is the bottom. You see him there at the bottom? Right there at the bottom. It's a little bump at the, at the, at the bottom. It's almost the second to the last page. Second to the last page. Mm -hmm. The next the next Okay. See now, now we, we put La Tecutli and replace we replace La Tecutli with we replace Quetzalcoatl and Tezcatlipoca with La Tecutli, the face on top. Now it's here. You see, because, because now he realizes okay, I'm gonna get far away from that. Uh, he realizes that so now that the country gets to wear the headdress. Gets uh, a coat, Yes. Okay. Now, what I'm going to ask is that it's important for me to say it. Remember what I said? Venus is a morning star. Venus is a morning star. And Venus is an evening star. But they're one planet. It's a god and Venus. As the morning star. The second boca is Venus as the evening star. Over the years in the tradition, they come to refer to Venus as the 
weakness is leaving star is Sholot. Sholot is when the evening star hides in the, the horizon and it disappears. Sholot is, is Venus when you don't see it. Therefore, it's, a, it's, it's kind of like an equal of, of, of oneness. Because when you don't see Venus, then it's only one. When you see morning star, evening star, you see two. But when, when Escatibroca descends into the horizon and disappears, that's when Venus becomes shorter. When the, when the evening star is visible, that is Escatibroca. When the morning star is visible, that is Escatibroca. So, so, for another word for the morning stars, how is Calpante Teotli? Okay, now, that, that, uh, I'm also going to say something about that. Claudius uh, Calpante Teotli is both evening and morning star. Morning star, just morning star, would be that would be the Venus as only the morning star. Lawis Carpante Kuti is talking about the relationship between Venus and the sun. And so, uh, Lawis Carpante Kuti, Lawis Carpante Kuti, eh, eh, el señor o, o el, el, la autoridad. Que tiene la casa del sol. Or, la uscalpa de means the one that holds a house of the sun. Where is the house of the sun? The house of the sun is when it goes down in the west, and the house of the sun is when it goes down in the east. So, la uscalpa de refers to both the evening, uh, the, the evening star and the morning star. Specifically, like what the Coupe. That's the fire, the ego that brings the fire or the sun. What's the ego that brings the sun, which is sunrise? Clay. That's the morning sun. Clay, clay, because clay is rising. Clay, clay is fire. Oh, from clay. Oh, okay. Butler is ego, and then Kupe is you know, like green. So uh, the one who brings the fire. Which is the sun. And so the sun, when, when the sun comes to us as fire, it doesn't come from the west. It comes to us from the east. So Plecot Plecupe is from, you can you can also call the morning star La Vistar but understand that you can that's also the evening star. Because they're both talking about the house of the sun. And so the, the western horizon and the eastern horizon. Are both the house of the sun. Now, getting to that piece of paper, you'll notice that here's the Tanakh Shot, and here's the uh, here's a Tatekutli wearing the headdress of uh, of Ketzalcoat. Now, again, if you go to the center, if you go to the center. And you trace a circle. You trace a circle. Okay. And then you'll find that the other circle is the first circle of blocking and walking. So if you use the bottom of the face and the center to, to make another circle, you have this circle, this circle, and this circle. And then what you do is you make a line here and you divide this line in half. And then you use the center and, and this new point and then you circle. And then you'll find the square of the token of walking here. And what you'll find is that this circle that you create using this point and this point, this new circle that you created, the circumference is equal to this square. That's a clue that we named it, that yes, 
that the Kuti now realizes that the two are one. But of course, we don't want to leave him down there like that. That's just a clue that we're on the right track. So we, instead of moving him down, we move the headdress up. And now, there he is with the headdress on, which is what I had on just a little while ago. Uh, what, I, what I'm telling you about is that the symbol of the six sun, the symbol of the six sun looks like this. The symbol of the six sun. This is my this research. What is it saying for solid? We hope the sexto sol no es simplemente otro mundo geográfico. Es el sol de conciencia. And that's what that means. That's the reason for the And can you repeat that one more time? Yeah. 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 Many has to find a way to balance ourselves with each other first, 
and then what the world around us. But we got to start with ourselves. No? Like we said over there at the mill, no? we got the pandemic, we got, we got, uh, and, 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 and the pool, no? we got all this situation out there. <laughs> but we got to protect our family and to heal ourselves. No? But we got to start with ourselves, right? So we can have the strength that we're going to need to deal with what's coming. Because Brothers and I we had an earlier conversation. This pandemic that we're in now, but there's others coming. And the, the, the attitude that we've been uh, presented with is that you better get ready, you better, because it's coming whether you're ready or not. And we're going to need to find a way to keep ourselves together and strong because we can't be dependent on Donald Trump to help us or the government or the state. But there's certain things that will keep us. On the, on the on the on the on the rule of keeping in balance, but whatever's happening out here, right? Well, you gotta have that in here, no? so that's a big part of all of this. Why even bother, right? Why even bother? Why not just go and whatever? You know? Well, there must be something here. I mean, about you two guys here, and here's the big guy, and here's Lady Anne, Mike. You know, he stepped into it and made it possible for our attitude on this side. Is which I guess is we're grateful to you for making this happen. You know? You guys, you guys really have been the catalyst to bring this together. We want to say that from our point, you know? Thank you for, for, for putting up with us, no? And uh, having the patience with us as well. We want to say thank you for that. Thank you. That's what I say it was like what you were saying too. Right now, what you were saying was, uh, I knew when you were know meeting, mean? we're trying to get it doesn't work without all of us. So like, exactly. we don't work, we can't do this without you. You can't do it without us. Exactly. Like that balance right here is, is the level. Right? So thank you. Who is that for? The center. Yeah. Man, I got another word to say. I don't know, you need to try to like, find out the real goal. I don't always like, really like, that's the sum saying, you hear too, saying, if he's trying to speak out of like, the different elements. And then there's the other one that says the event to for like the, to draw another factor. So what we'll actually is it? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, in in the tradition, the tradition is is like many things uh, merging together, so that one thing will have several meanings, and they're all equal meanings. Whenever you see uh, uh, an indigenous painting of a face, if, it, if, if it's authentic, if an authentic indigenous or natural mind made that, you will always find three faces in the one face. You'll, you'll see that there's three faces. You'll see the one face and then you'll see, oh, and here's another set of eyes and then this is a mouth, oh, and then this is another set of the Wichonis are the ones that taught me that. Que cuando dibujan caras, que siempre hay tres caras en una. So, same with this. Uh, when they say, this symbol means this. No, that's just one. There's another, there's layers of meaning. El tepa, que tiene aquí. Los tepa se hacen de dos maneras. Uno es con, con pedernal para la chispa. La otra es con obsidiana. La obsidiana es para, para cortar, cortar finito. Y también el, 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 uh, the, uh, the obsidian is, is to look inside yourself to find your inner truth. And, and, and then the pedernal is to light the fires in the sun on the outside. Sometimes you need the night in your internal darkness. So you can find yourself. So that is time. It's, it's 
a, it's a flat knife. But it also means when 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 they would sting, when they would sting, when they would sting, uh, uh, bite, whether it's in obsidian or flint, in your mouth when you die. Uh, that means that you, that's your that's your that's your part of uh, your piece of truth that you contribute. A flint in the, in, the, in the mouth means that you're speaking a truth. The truth that the Bikuti is speaking and the truth that, uh, because both of them, as you can see, both of them have a, a knife. She has one kind and he has a different kind. But they're both speaking the truth. What is the truth? They're speaking the, the, their truth about creation. This truth about the sky, her truth about the earth, and together the truth about the unity of earth and sky. So see how the, all those meanings are layered into one symbol? It isn't just one thing. The, the male person, the Vikuti, is a sun in the sense that we're all products of the sun. We're all solar beings. So, Cuando, cuando Andrés Segura, Maestro de Segura, saludaba, decía que tu sol sea brillante. In other words, your, your, your being, your essence, your authentic self, may your authentic self shine. Eso es lo que quiere decir que tu sol sea brillante. I can imagine the Spaniards asking the, the Mexicans, uh, ¿Y ese en el medio? Nuestro sol. Right? And then from there, oh yeah, that's the sun. Jot it down. And then, yes, you said. But all that means is, is what Andres said. You know, get your soul seven. You know, what's me? Your authentic self shine. Pretty much something that the fighter can even talk to him. So it's like. The, when, when we were talking, um, when, when, I, when I learned about all these teachings as well, and we started to take it to the community conversation, community circles, talking about where we come from. I mean, it was more the idea to, to discuss what are those symbols represents that because, yes, we identify as Mexicans when we see the Aztec calendar, but when we ask a uh, or someone you know what does this work in the well that that is that what it's about uh, to bring come together and then the little ones now those parents that started to learn through those conversations before we started the school and convening that idea uh, now they they're sharing that that hope so to me this means hope because now we are going to we're evolving together and the parents are sharing their experiences through their child. How the child is bringing to their houses that knowledge, that simple knowledge that they can consider, and those salutes, and that that spontaneous that they have in the, the in, in, in that little kindergarten. So that's why I think that 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 sixth soul is sister I think that's so that's nothing when we read it, it kind of like blows your mind saying like, hey, like, I mean, like I said, like, it's part of the I don't want you guys to die, we're going to like pretty much play our part, but don't forget, like, the, I mean, teaching the kids and always, and we're reading that, we're saying that's exactly what we're doing right now, it's time to, I mean, certainly wake up again. Did you guys, they just read it and reset it, this is what they did last night. They just did it. They were reading last night on the on the audios. It was about 1996, about 10 years ago. There was a history that the audios made and then passes to one of them to each other. I have a story. I don't. I don't really remember that. So the survivors. But it was in the Well, anyway, the survivors of that history among the audios, they were right by the audios. Down, came together, and started doing like football games and like that. The survivors got dead last night, so they're going to bring on the 22nd to be a film that history among the lot of you. And 
this guy said this to a wife and my visa. We read out of the book about a piece of pastoral and we give an hour to that. Just that fact about the next generation. It was really uh, inspiring. Again, I have to say, I think it's, a, it's really inspiring to be part of this. Yeah. And it's bigger than all of us. We have to but it's bigger than all of us. It's going to carry us and with us going along with it the best we can. The spiritual movement. It's a spiritual movement, but it's conscientious. It's a conscientious that we're spiritually human beings. We're human beings of the earth, or the spirit that is guiding man. And so these are like the guide, the roads of, of the, the answers to put down to help keep us on that, on that journey. There's no end to it. It doesn't end. It doesn't end. It's, 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 it's a deep so I, I can say you're asking like a million questions. Like, look, 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 look. This guy, he's been like, he's like legit. Like, I mean, he goes to different colleges. Um, what? I feel like every time I say it, he's like, hey, no, 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 what? What's your proper that? Yeah. So, yeah. So, he said that they even knew about the planet. So, what would we say when we have a nice planet before they got to the food? Was it nice? Mm -hmm. yeah. But then they discovered more. So he was talking about David Hughes, so he said somewhere there you can actually find the 11 planets that they knew about already, even before they discovered those two. So I don't know, have you ever heard of that? Or you know that yeah, that, that information actually comes from La uh, Escuela de Arturo Mesa. Arturo Mesa uh, started studying this formally uh, in uh, 1984. Se retiró de su trabajo y se dedicó enteramente a estudiar esto. And he, he formed a school and then he has students. He's one of them from Arturo Mesa School. Uh, and Masad Singh, he comes from that school. Although Masad Singh never mentions Arturo Mesa, but that's the, that's esa escuela que enseña about, about the, que, que los planetas también están allí. You know, what I, the planets that I know that are there, and I'm not sure, some of the simple visible planets. And uh, according to the, the message school, that yeah, you can find the other planets, but I, I, I don't know. Yeah. But I do know that, you know, there's there's uh, five planets there. Yeah, that's why the more you get into it, it's like going to run for us. I have a question, but I'm not going to ask for the answer. But I'm going to take a question out there and maybe ask for some advice for the part of the team that you work at home. Because we've been asking a question among ourselves, but we should have a question when we put it out there. Do you think that it would be appropriate at this particular project that we're looking at over there? Would you, would you, would you perceive it as appropriate for both sides? Uh, for us to move into using the symbol of the six sun that you shared with us today. Well, I think it's up to the community. I know, but I'm asking you for your advice. Would you think it's appropriate? We have to make a decision. We're not going to make the decision tonight. Right. I, I, we I, want to put the question out to give advice. No? I, I, I would have brought it if I didn't think it was appropriate. Thank you. I have a, I have a question. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, like the two. Two of these worlds are covered. Is this exactly how it would be if it was redrawn? And then, are you able to move these two worlds, or would that make a difference on the bottom? The one well, that show? If, if you, uh, yeah, I'm glad you asked that question. Those 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 four things they, they not only represent the four worlds, but they actually represent how the four worlds end. Okay. Uh, but, but they also represent the four elements. The, the Jaguar represents Earth, and then the weight, the weight of course, Eka represents air, which is the And then at the bottom one, that's fire, and then the other one is water. But if you go back, Earth has air, and water, and fire. And, and air, it's a product of earth, air, and fire. So 
the ones that are covered already have all the four elements that are within the middle. So you know, those elements are, are, are now, all the elements are now hidden. You realize this, that the elements are hidden. He realizes that, but it is, he is now in the middle. And his wife, who's you know, right, right with him, they now realize that they are in the middle. Whereas before, when he's explaining everything in the calendar, he's looking, looking you know, down at his feet, he's noticing the two. And he's saying, yeah, they're two, but he says, and you are me. But he is just realizing, he's discovering the middle. When, when, when they disappear and the picture comes up, now he knows, now he is in the middle, which is what you were saying. And that's a key. All of us can understand conceptually that you and I are one, that you are my other me. You know, we can we can we can talk about it, we can agree with it. Yeah, of course, you're me and I'm you. Look, but, I yeah. but yeah, but but to become one, that's a different story. So we three words are we reach that point of I mean the point of there's people signing off, um, or international viewers and whatnot. Um, so I don't know if you wanted to give a message to the people who couldn't make it, but they're joining us. But their message is uh, many thank yous, Mas Kamati. There's different people. I haven't read all the, the posts, but a lot. But some people uh, are signing off. In 2027, we're going to come together to light the new fire, the new fire ceremony. We want to encourage communities all over the world to come together in that ceremony in November 2027 and light the new fire to renew the world, which is what's new. One of the questions that uh, we have, um, it's, been, it's been tossed around and we're trying to get a better understanding um, doing this with Buck. And we, have, we have a long relationship with Dona Tierra and Buck. 25 years, you know, not more. Our community, our community. And, and, and just put, just for context, the art, just so I can describe our area. You went there today to visit, right, the area. So that that is, is one of the oldest barrios in, in Phoenix. I mean, the oldest, the, the oldest is gone, right? The city knocked it down and took it out. Right? There's nothing there that. So we are the oldest barrio in Phoenix right now, going back to the early 1900s. Um, 